Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call get my bits API in Angular. So let's get started. Let's navigate to the VS Code. First of all, I'm going to create a new component inside the components package of the customer. So let me open up the integrated terminal. And here I'm going to write the command to create the new component with the name view my bits. So the command that we have ng, g for generate, c for component and name of the component that we have view my bits let's hit enter as you can see the component created successfully let me close the powershell after creating the component let's go to the customer routing module.ts and here i'm going to register the component as a routing so let me duplicate this line we have to load here the component that is a view my bits if the path is my bits now let's go to the app component.html as you can see in the nav bar for the logged in customer let me duplicate this line and i'm going to update the nav link caption that we have my bits and we have to update here the path that we have slash customer slash my bits let's navigate to the browser as you can see the new nav link with the caption my bits let me click on this and it's navigating us to the view my bits component now let's go to the customer service let me duplicate this method update the method name that we have get my bits so the path that we have api slash customer slash bids slash user id that we are getting by the calling of the method that is a get user id as you can see now let's go to the view my bits component.ts. Inside this, I'm going to write the functionality to call the method from the customer service. So let me copy the code from the my cars component.ts. Let me copy this. Let me add inside the view my bits component.ts. Let me import here the customer service. Remove this. So we have to call the method from the customer service that we have get my bits. Let me update here the method name that we have. Get my bits, and we have to call this method inside the ng on it like cycle book when the component mount. Let me update here the variable that we have bits. So we have to assign the response of the API into this variable that we have bits. After this, I'm going to initialize a variable with the name in spinning. That is a type of a boolean and it will be a by default false before calling the endpoint we have to make this property true after getting the response i'm going to make this property false so it will be a this dot is spinning is equals to false from the customer service we are calling this method that we have get my bids let me verify the path of this endpoint in the spring boot application so this is the customer controller, the path that we have slash API slash customer. And this is the endpoint that we are calling from the Angular. So the path for this endpoint that is slash car slash bids slash user ID. Let me update the path in Angular that we have API slash customer slash car slash bids slash user id let's navigate to the browser as you can see the console where we are getting the bid now i'm going to show this into the screen let's go to the view my bids component dot html and here i'm going to add the html code as you can see the html code where we have a ng table tag inside this we have a property that is a ng data where we have passed bids property as you can see in this variable we have the api response after this we have a table row with the different table heads like car name car brand seller name price and the status inside the t-body tag we have table data first we have car name second we have car brand third we have seller name fourth we have price at the last we have a bid status on the strong tag we have a property that is a ng style if 
where we have applied color condition. If the bid status is approved, then we have to show the bid status in green color. If the bid status is rejected, then we have to show the bid status in blue color, otherwise red. Now you can take a look of the my bids component hot HTML. Let's go back to the browser. As you can see the table where we can see the bids details like car name, car brand, seller name, price and the status. For now we have the status pending. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.